Hi, this is Kelly here from Crafting on the Fly. Today I'm going to show you how to make this candy corn sweater. Perfect for Halloween, even Thanksgiving. Um, you start with foundation crochet, so um, I'm just going to um, pull up four loops. This foundation double crochet. You yarn over and pull up one loop through that first loop. Yarn over through the first loop, just one, and then through two, and then another two. And that's how you stack them up. So you yarn over, you go through those two uh, loops, the bottom, you pull up a loop, then you go through the first one, then you go through two, and another two. And so you're gonna uh, continue doing that. Going through those first two, I have three and then go through the first one and then go through two and another two. And you keep going until you have uh, 69 for the small size for the sweater. And you see how nicely it stacks and it's nice and, um, you know, it's just more flexible if you do a single, if you just do a foundation crochet. So this is the foundation double crochet. And just keep going until I said, like, you have the 69 of them. So, once you have them all lined up, you continue with uh, one chain and then yarn over and do a double crochet into that first loop. Then you skip one, and the next one you do a single crochet and a double crochet into that same loop or chain and again skip one go to the next one with a single crochet and the double crochet and keep on doing that until the very end so single crochet and double crochet with one um, chain skipped in between once you're at the end you just do the single crochet you chain one and you turn and then now again you also go in you do a double crochet right into that first chain from the previous row and now that you have them stacked you just go into that single crochet from the previous row round or row so you do a single crochet in that single crochet and then also a double crochet into that same single crochet so you skip the double crochet from the previous round and you just go to the next one which is the single crochet you do a single crochet in there and then also a double crochet. And then basically skip one, just go into that one with a single crochet and a double crochet. And you do that all the way to the end. And that's how you get that nice pattern with this um, sweater. So we're gonna do one whole side and then the back is the same. And then you're just going to change colors, actually, I already changed here, but I'm going to show you how to change to the next color. You're going to, for the yellow, you're going to change, well, like this one is the, you, at the last one, you're going to pull up the next color. In row 42, you pull up the white then, so that the last stitch is with that white. And then you do row 43 with the new white color. And before you also actually changed uh, from the yellow to the red at row 12. 12 you change, switch over and then row 13 is the new color. And this yellow, uh, orange to the white is at 42. So 43 is then that new white color. And other than that, you have the same pattern. She's going with the single crochet and the double crochet and skipping one chain in between one stitch and we'll do both uh, front and back are the same so once you get here this is not actually row um, 52 in the white you did 10 and then you're actually gonna switch because we're gonna uh, work the uh, neckline so you just did that single and double and one chain and then you just turn in between going with the same pattern of the single crochet and double crochet. And 
and then to shape it even more once you're at the back there you just did a single crochet and um, chain one so that it's more like a curve there and then do a double crochet right in that same chain and then a single crochet and a double crochet in that next single crochet space So that's how you have that nice line there. And then you just keep going um, up a few more rows there. And once you have your two pieces, you're gonna just um, stitch them together on the top. I like to do just the outsides of those um, loops there. So you do that all the way across and then also along the bottom. So there's the top. Do the same on the other side. And then we can do the uh, neckline. And it's just, I started in like the back corner there. You chain one, two, and then you just do a double crochet into the next space and keep going with double crochet all around. And then you actually do three rows of those double crochets stacked on top of each other. So it's actually rounds and not rows because you go around and just um, you slip stitch to the end of the first row and then again chain two and start again with the next row. So you have three rows of those double crochet for the neckline. Nice. So there I also stitch this all together, just leaving the opening for the arm and it's about um, six uh, rows below where the um, arm starts, that's where I stopped. And then to start the uh, arms, you also just start with a uh, one loop and a uh, double crochet and then you just skip the same, do the same pattern. So a single crochet and a double crochet evenly all around. So you just skip one chain or one stitch to do the single and double crochet around the arm. And all of that just with the orange. And then you keep going actually with the next uh, round. So you also just slip stitch to the end and then chain one and do a double crochet into the same one. Let me see, here we go. I made it all around. Almost. So right here, I'm going to do one more single crochet and double crochet. And I'm just going to slip stitch to the beginning. I'm going to chain one and actually turn it so that we have the same back and forth pattern as we did uh, with the rows here when we do the rounds. And then do a double crochet into that same one. And then keep the same pattern with double crochet or single crochet and double crochet in one stitch and um, skipping one stitch in between. So it's the same pattern as the uh, um, 
body of the sweater it's just that you're doing it in rounds and to keep that same pattern you're gonna um, go the other way you, you don't keep going you just turn it every time in between do this as long as you'd like to have your um, arm and finish off with a swirl of single crochet